really nice to have that smoother drive. We just got to wait this part out. Well, we will be waiting this part out. And of course, you know, we hope that those road workers out there are taking lots of breaks in this high heat. I did reach out to Diane Cross uh, with mm -hmm. MDOT, and she did tell me that they are kind of like trying to stagger some of their work time so they're Good. not working in the just like midday when it's right. like the worst of it all. You know, try to get that work in in the morning and a little bit. I mean, I think about, afternoon. yeah, the road workers, I think about construction workers, mm -hmm. uh, also utility workers utility. when they, the power goes out. Yeah. yeah. Power goes out and you sometimes you can actually see the heat coming off of the pavement. So yeah, it's tough out there and we're seeing things starting to shift too with the forecast and I'm talking about the heat dome, of course, and as it drifts to the south, hopefully we can cash in on some of this rain because if we can, it's going to cool us down. But of course, we don't want the severe weather as the trade off. So tracking the heat wave, we hit 95 on Monday. We hit 90 on Tuesday. We're forecasting 92 on Wednesday and I'm thinking 90 on Thursday. So we're getting further and further away from the records, but we're still going to be at that criteria for a heat wave. And this is going to be the since June 2012. That, that was actually the last time we've had four or more consecutive 90 degree days. And I'm thinking we'll add more into the weekend and we're getting started. Highs are going to reach the 90s again today. A few showers sneaking through here. Temperatures into the 70s from 77 from Lapeer all the way to Detroit 75 and Adrian getting some sunshine with a few showers passing through. Let's talk about what's changing up. So here's the heat dome that we've been talking about for the last about a week or so. Uh, but now what's happening is this is starting to shift a little bit to the east and what that does is it opens the door for us to have what's called ridge runners right on the edge of this dome of hot air. It creates additional instability and you'll get disturbances riding right along the edge of these ridges of high pressure, these heat domes. And that's why you see all these showers and thunderstorms flaring up. This will be the pattern that we'll be dealing with between today, tomorrow and Friday until finally this breaks down. So it just reintroduces the likelihood of seeing showers and storms. The trade off, of course, is that any one of these storms could really mean business with heavy rainfall and causing some problems. So the likelihood of seeing rain today is a little bit more widespread than it was yesterday or the day before. Any storm that flares up, heavy rainfall by far will be the greatest threat. Can't rule out damaging wind gusts, but I'm also going to include the possibility of a tornado. These storms at times could interact with lake breezes and weird things could happen, so be aware of that. Otherwise, we're back to the heat, at least between now and about Sunday. And look at next week, it finally breaks and we get back to a normal summer.